players out and lay wreaths in the center circle the country in mourning after the loss of her majesty the queen reigning for 70 years in her platinum jubilee year Well, the players paying tribute to Her Majesty on the front of the club program today. There's a lovely picture of the young Queen presenting the FA Cup to the Nottingham Forest winning captain back in 1959, Jack Burkett. The ball spun back, didn't go out of play. Johnson makes the most of it. Green tries to catch him. Johnson cuts it back. And a little warning shot there from Gibbs White. Great move from Forrest. Every single Fulham player is back inside the 18-yard box defending this. Oh, brilliant! He's earned his place in the team. A one right place, right time, right finish. Ten minutes gone, Nottingham Forest lead. Well, I always turn round to our scholars and say, when corners come in, centre-halves don't head the ball straight, they always head at an angle. And yes, he's had to do really well and react. It was the header that came in from Ryan Yates. And there's a Wong at the far post to get his head on it. Nobody at the far post marking for Fulham. And that's an excellent start for Nottingham Forest. Faced Forest on two occasions, one win, one defeat last season. William makes a great run from midfield. Has he still got the feet? Now he's appeared to be brought down. The referee has a big decision, inside or out. I think it was a step outside. Then the next decision is yellow or red. And he opts for a yellow card. Pereira. Wall, well built. Initial corner of the evening. What can Fulham come up with? Pereira, Smitrovic! Uncertain goalkeeping, and he keeps it out, doesn't matter how you keep it out. Eventually, fighting with Scott McKenna, his own player, as the Fulham striker came alive. Well, this is something that we work on the training ground as well, towards the near post. Sometimes it's unprotected on the, uh, the point of the six-yard box. Sometimes it's played along the floor, sometimes in the air. Nico Williams does really well, he takes his arms away, but Dean Henderson really has to make a decent save. I say it's a minimum of a minute. The officials add on. The referee has seen enough. And Nottingham Forest deservedly leading one of the three changes. Taiwo Awinyi coming into the team, scored his second goal. Nottingham Forest kicking off the second half, looking for their second victory of the season. And at the same point last year in the championship, it was just before Steve Cooper came in. They won only one of the opening seven matches. But Cooper has created quite a revolution. They're straight on the front foot as well in the second half, and it was Brennan Johnson who almost had a clear run at goal. Well, it was uh, Brennan Johnson who played the ball through. Sorry, it was uh, Gibbs White plays the ball through to Brennan Johnson. I think he's got to be getting a better first touch than that, hasn't he? Just opens up his uh, ankle. Willie Ant's a great ball in. Oh, and a brilliant header as well. Simple and straight to the point. Avery Boyer crashed his way through the crowd. Well, it's an excellent header, isn't it, from Avery Boyer? There's a little block from Mitrovic on Yates to start off with, and that's why he's able to gain that little half a yard. Just wonder whether the referee might have a little look at that because Mitrovic does purposely block the run for Adarabayo to get into himself into a perfect position. Pardon that goal then. This is Reem. Willian. The game has stepped up a pace. Tete. Palinha! Perfect. 
There's the ball into Paulinho. It goes and hits it first time. Yates isn't able to get himself across quick enough. And Henderson, no chance whatsoever. And what a response this is from Fulham. First touch in the opening, what, 10, 15 seconds. Fulham are looking for a quick fire third. They could over Reid. They've got the third. Harrison Reid at the sharp end of another quick fire Fulham move into the path of Di Cordova. Reid pulls the ball back, and there you see Harrison Reid around by the penalty spot. All he's got to be doing is thinking about the contact of the ball and hitting the target, and he does both. As you say, not a natural goal scorer. He's first for Fulham. Well, Willie Bolly is taken off, and it will be Worrell coming on. And Jesse Lingard also coming on. Worrell and McKenna given instruction to go join the attack. Worrell gets ahead on it. Oh, and that was a glorious opportunity for Awini. It was a repeat of the first half when he scored. Well, it was. It was uh, Worrell who made a, a run towards the near post. He's the one who gets the flick header, and really, he should be hitting the target. This time, he's got more time to think about it. Don't think he gets a, a clean contact with his head. Might come off his chest. But that should be 3-2. And a, a double change. Well, kind of a necess necessity for Steve Cooper as he has to liven things up, bringing on Surridge, a striker, and Lewis O'Brien, who has a creative midfield mind. Well, it's the 70-minute mark of the match. And there will be a tribute from all inside the city ground to Her Majesty. Celebrating the Platinum Jubilee this year. Observed by everybody inside the stadium. Perro goes for it. Oh, brilliant save from Henderson to keep the score down, it has to be said. Well, first and foremost, Pereira has to get that ball up and over the wall, which he does really well. Shapes if he's going to go to the right-hand side for Henderson. He's been inspirational so far for Nottingham Forest. A lot of game time. Lingard's touch. Great ball. Johnson across. Big chance. Taken. Forrest back in it. O'Brien. The impact sub. Well, that's what you want from your substitutions. Not what, the, what Jesse Lingard has, has done so far, the contribution, but there's O'Brien. There's a lot of Forest fans asking questions why he had been left out. And now he's uh, paid his manager back by getting themselves back into this game. Still has to uh, finish it off really well from around about the penalty spot. Nice little ball in from Brennan Johnson. Andrew Bio can't do an awful lot. Just puts it on a plate, really, for Obayo. Oh, Brian, sorry. I'm sorry. Lordy's cross. Well, two of the three, isn't it? Teoti still on the bench. Big wind-up, and well, it had a little bit of dip in the shot, but no great deceit from the captain, Ryan Yates. Well, he's able to get a little bit of space in here. It's a decent strike, but maybe he's trying to hit that ball outside of the post to start off with. 